we're going to use the oil pastels here to create a simple drawing like this of an apple. So I'm going to show you quickly the steps and then you guys are going to, um, we're going to work together, you guys are going to create the, the picture yourself following the steps. So we're going to take a piece of paper, we're going to draw our apple, nice light, nice circle like this. Okay, we're going to draw the table. And we're going to draw the shadow of the apple. Okay, now using the oil colors, we're gonna choose three colors, uh, light, medium, and dark. It could be real color, or it could be imagination colors, it doesn't matter. Uh, for example, let's use some uh, red and oranges, or yellow and oranges actually. So we can use a light color a medium color and a dark color to start with. Then we use white. White is always very good to use with the oil pastel because it provides highlights to our picture. So we'll start with the um, dark color on the side where the shadow is. So we're going to apply the color Okay, like that. Then we're going to add the medium color in the middle. Okay, we can overlap the colors. It's the beauty of the oil pastel. They mix very, they blend very well. It's not like using crayons. And then we're going to use a light color on the other side where the light is touching the object. I can go over with the light color a little bit, with the medium color over the light color, and with the dark color over the medium color so that the color will blend a little bit more. Now I can use my, my finger to um, blend the colors in even further, following the direction of the, uh, the shape of the object, like in this case. Now, I want to add a little bit more dark on this side, so I can even use a brown, provide a little bit more darkness, you know, maybe something a little darker than this. There you go. Even here in the indentation, always following the shape of the object my finger again to blend the colors. Okay, now we need to um, apply some highlights on this side where the light is uh, touching the object. We're going to apply white to create the highlights. Again, blending the colors. Okay, now I'm going to start working on the shadow. I can use brown, or uh, maybe a little bit of black too. Gotta be careful with black, because black is a very powerful color. We wanna add just a little bit and see how it affects the picture starting right here where the object touches the table. Again, blending. Mm -hmm. There you go. I can even use a little bit of black on the actual object lightly. With a little bit of hatching over here. And blending once again. Okay, now I want to choose two 
um, different colors for the table and for the um, wall in the background. I want to choose some colors that create contrast. So something completely different than what I used here on my apple. So for example, I could use um, green, light green. And I could use light blue. So I'm going to start applying the colors around my shape, my um, object. Okay. And then I'm going to use the other color as well. I could blend in with the white once again to create light and highlights on the picture. So I can add a little bit over on this side and a little bit over on this side. Okay, and then we would have to blend the color once again. could apply more color maybe a darker color on this side where the shadow sh is shown a little so you can apply maybe a darker green on this side the more color we blend in the best the picture will look but now for time's sake we're just going to do a little bit I'm going to add a little bit of darker blue on this side near the shadow. Okay, and then with our black color, we can outline the object to provide a little bit more definition. Gently because even on the lighter area, just to give a little bit more definition to the contour line of the object. Okay. And there you go. Then we're gonna sign our um, art and it's completed.